A rampant infestation of rudeness is taking over the planet. It started with a few nasty trolls, but has spread like wildfire from social media to the streets. To Gigi Hadid, practice how to walk properly instead of having a new boyfriend every two weeks. To Kim Kardashian, wow, he loves you even though you're fat. And to writer J.K. Rowling, you're a grown-ass woman whose entire career is based on stories about a nerd who turns people into frogs. But it's not just celebrities who are plagued by the rudeness epidemic. One study suggests 75% of young adults experience harassment online. And all this rudeness can wreak havoc on our mental and physical health. So can we immunize ourselves from this internet infection? Or is rudeness destined to be a chronic condition? Joseph, what's the matter with people? And what's driving this, this craze of rudeness? It seems like we find it everywhere we go, and without doubt, it's clearly impacting our health, the people that are being rude and the people they're being rude to. And it spreads like a virus on social media. It truly, yeah, spreads. It truly seems contagious. It spreads. 70% of kids between the age of 18 and 24 have experienced some sort of bullying rudeness on the internet. And here's the scary part about it is, they feel it's okay to do it to other people. We've, we've allowed ourselves to let ourselves believe that it's socially acceptable to be rude. We reward people for bad behavior now, and that's what's making it grow. The worst part about it, though, is it's denigrating our own health. Mm -hmm. The number one fear of human beings is the fear of rejection, and so if, we're being, if we've been trolled, if you will, yeah, yeah. then we, that's rejecting us, and that fear is producing adrenalines and the chemicals that cause our nervous system and cause our immune systems to go down, or really, it's eating ourselves up. From and, and we know, it's a fact, that all bullies have been bullied. That's, yeah. Yeah. And it, right. did it start with the parents? Did it start with a sibling? Who knows? When you look at the people that do a lot of this rude behavior on the internet, 5% of them actually have personality disorders no like narcissistic yeah. personality disorder, sad sadistic personality disorder, and things like that. So there are some troubled people out there that are doing this. Absolutely. And they're doing it because they're trying to cover up something from inside themselves. And the, I shouldn't say the worst part about it, but they're actually, those types of chemicals are being released in them. The hater is the one that's getting, getting the, the bad result as well. So how, so how, how, do, you how do we address... How do someone yeah. who's rude? You what, what do we do? You, you don't. don't. No. They are, they, they do that because they're seeking attention. Don't give them the attention. You know, we become such social network creatures nowadays. And so I always say to people, listen, go to your whatever, whether it's Facebook or whatever you're doing, and get rid of all of those people that don't cause you joy. If it's not causing you any joy, get them out of there. You don't need them. Solicited and you opt not to confront them, but you are the victim of rudeness. How should we best react? First off, again, ignore them. But the first thing is we have to, A, get thicker skin, and then B, we've got to learn how to check ourselves first and go, yeah. why am I doing this? Or should I do this? How am I res responding to this? And as I said, just ignore them, get away from it, move exactly, on. Exactly, because it's such and a waste of energy. Shake it. it. You know, yeah. when you're, <laughs> so when you're rude to me, I'm just going to yeah. go like this and no.